Hi everyone, my name is Claudia. I'm here with TV Stuff Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing two new products, the Omega Cold Press 365 and the Yonana's Dessert Maker. So we're gonna start off with the Omega Cold Press 365. This is a typical juice maker. I'm going to make six different juices for you today, all from fresh vegetables and fruit. So these are all of the different parts of our juice presser. As you can see, the actual unit here is actually quite compact and small, which I do like. Um, this is the power cord, obviously. We have our power switch on top, it goes on and then Rev, R-E-V, and then in the middle I assume is off. This is the locking latch. It locks the drum into the housing and you lift it up to dismantle. Uh, this is where the juice is captured. You have the inner cup where the juice is captured and there's some measurements there on the side. And then the pulp is supposed to end up in this container here. This is something called the pusher. When adding ingredients, you push them in nice and gently so that they all can be juiced evenly. This is called the tray. It's placed above the drum and on top of the feed chute. This part here is called the drum and feed chute. Inside the drum, you have a little spirally piece that's called the Auger, I think I'm pronouncing that right. That is placed inside the drum and connects to the body and it grinds and squeezes fruits and vegetables. This piece here, and they also were kind enough to give a second one. That piece is called the strainer. And then finally you have the end cap, which is where the pulp is released into the juice holder. And additionally, we got a little toothbrush looking guy for cleaning purposes. So now that I know all of the parts of my Omega juice press, I'm going to assemble it and get started. So we have this whole contraption. This has the drum, that ang angular thing. I think I'm saying that completely wrong. The strainer and the juice cap. It has this little metal part here that we're going to click in. And that's in. And then the tray goes on top like so. So it collects the juice in this container and the pulp in this container, like I said before. You push the stuff in as it's going, and that's that. This is just an extra piece, and this is for cleaning. So the assembly is very quick and easy. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. So like I said, the assembly was very quick and easy. Um, I have a lot of the fruits and vegetables already out that I'm going to be using. I have some more in the fridge. Like I said, I'm going to be making six different juices today, starting with a classic celery juice. So before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and familiarize myself with the instructions. Ready to start juicing, you wanna make sure all of your fruits and vegetables are washed cut into pieces that will fit into the feeding chute, and remove all pits and seeds and thick skins before inserting. Turn on by pressing reverse on the power switch. Do not operate for more than 10 minutes. Do not touch the power switch with wet hands. Use the pusher to push ingredients into the feeding chute. Do not force ingredients. Push with appropriate pressure. Never put fingers or other objects into the feeding chute. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to chop up all of my vegetables so I'm just ready to go and I can start juicing. Um, I'm super excited to use this product. I have never juiced anything before in my entire life but I know that it has great health benefits. It's great for your gut and digestion. Um, obviously it's nice clean eating and you're obviously getting in a ton of fruits and vegetables into your body. Uh, I recently switched to being vegetarian so I think this is going to be a great addition to my everyday life. So let's go ahead and prep all the vegetables and then we will go ahead and get started. All right, so we have all of my fruits and vegetables cut up and lined up, 
ready to start juicing. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and start juicing. We're gonna start with the simple celery juice. All you need is just one head of celery. My juice press is already plugged in. Everything is set up. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it. Yes, we just go ahead and... We have some fresh celery juice. That was so cool and quick and easy. Go ahead and pour that into a cup. I can't imagine this is gonna taste good. Um, I've never had celery juice before, but cheers, y'all. Oh, it's actually not too bad. It tastes Tastes like dirty water, but not in a terrible way. So that was the first juicing. I'd say it went pretty successfully. There are all of the like dried out celery sticks. So weird looking. Um, yeah, you just kind of like feed in the vegetables or fruit and then you push this down as you saw. So the next juice I am going to make is called the firefighter. It takes four carrots, which I have chopped up here, one pineapple wedge. Um, I had to buy pineapple chunks already chopped up because pineapple I don't think is in season yet, and one chunk of turmeric. Now my grocery store didn't sell like actual turmeric, so I have like turmeric powder. Might not be the best, but it's all I could do. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Start with the carrots, because that's the most of what I have. When something is already like so watery, like pineapple, it like goes nice, like so easy. I don't even know, I'm probably doing way too much, but. Let's go ahead and take a sip of the firefighter. Mmm. Oh my, that's actually very good. It's nice, it's got a nice sweetness to it, which I think is from the, it's from the pineapple. Oh yeah, that tastes really good. All right, next up is called the apple berry elixir. It needs two cups of blueberries, two apples, and two cups of spinach. I love the little tray up top because then like it catches the blueberries and you just you don't have to worry about like pouring multiple times.
powerful device. Like you can press pretty hard. Like if you think it's stuck, it's not. You just gotta push a little harder. Ugh. Oh, it looks so gross when it comes out though. is great because for spinach like it's obviously a softer vegetable and you can just kind of like keep it up here until you're ready then you go ahead and push it down Ooh. I'm very curious to see how spinach comes out so interestingly enough spinach is slower I really thought it would be faster just because it's just leaves but it's not, it's pretty slow. Uh, the pulp is coming out very slow. What's nice is you can send it in reverse to make sure you got all of the leaves. Like you can see some got stuck and then you put it back in forward motion and it kind of speeds up the process a little bit. And this is our apple berry elixir. Bottoms up. Mmm. oh my gosh, it's so sweet. You really taste the apple. Oh my God, that's delicious. All right, the next juice I will be making is called the Zesty Zinger, and it calls for one lemon, one slice of ginger, one cup of grapes, and a bunch of kale. So let's go ahead and whip this bad boy up. I assume I can just put I mean, they're cut up, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, why not? That's how you make lemon juice, I guess. One. Yeah. All right, here is the zesty zinger. Okay, wow, I am not a huge fan of that one. I was not a huge fan of that one for a few reasons. Number one, the taste. Like, my throat is on fire. Oh my god. It's a little too tart for me. Um, I think with the combination of the lemon and the ginger, it's just a lot. And then the kale was very difficult to juice. Um, I think I should have chopped it. I just kind of, you know, broke off the leaves and then shoved it in there and it got very, it got stuck here and even as hard as I pushed it down, it didn't really juice through as smoothly as the other vegetables and fruits have. So I didn't end up doing as much kale because it got stuck. I bet with a little bit more kale this would taste better, but this is just honestly undrinkable right now. Okay, moving on to the green and clean. This one calls for four green apples, two lemons, and one cucumber. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot because anytime I do get a green juice, it usually has these sorts of vegetables in it and fruits. This is the green and clean. It's a lot of this one. Let's hope I like it. Cheers. Ooh, that one is very good. Not too tart. Um, nice and light and refreshing. Tastes something like perfect for the springtime, summertime. Mmm. This is a keeper. I think this one's my favorite so far. All right, and the last juice I will be making is called Turn Up the Beat, and it calls for two lemons, two carrots, two apples, and of course, two beets. 
Now beets are like, they stain very easily, so I'm gonna wear gloves when it comes to putting those in. And this is our last juice, obviously very red in color from the beets. That's not too bad. It's definitely not as sweet as the other ones. Um, I think that's obviously from the beets. But you do, do still taste that like hint of lemon and that hint of apple. It tastes very earthy because of the beets. Um, it's not bad. It's definitely not my favorite. I think green and clean was definitely my favorite because it just tasted like nice and light and refreshing. This one, this one's growing on me though. My only thing is beets are just so messy and they stain and it's just honestly a hassle. Chopping them up was not my favorite thing. The green and clean was my favorite, not only for the taste, but also for how easy the prep was. I am much more willing to chop up some apples and cucumber than I am to chop up a beet every morning. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and clean our Omega cold press. First step is gonna be dumping all of the pulp. Gross. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove the tray like so. We unlock and pull out this whole thing. This part twists and comes off and then we have to get in there nice with the toothbrush provided. And then this part comes out like so. We'll also toothbrush that. Finally the angular or whatever this piece is called. I know I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. You will see that all of these pieces wash very quickly. because the actual cold press unit it has electrical wiring and such we don't want to submerge this in any sort of water so we just take a nice wipe down with a rag or a paper towel all right moving on to the second part of our review today today i'm going to be also testing out the yo nanas so this is a tool to make frozen yogurt out of frozen fruits and it's great because then obviously you know exactly what's going into the dessert. It's fat free, dairy free, there's no added sugar, it's just the pure fruit. So these are all of the parts of our Yonanas. This is the plunger. This goes directly in here to plunge the fruit obviously. This is called the chute and blade cover. That's the chute, and then obviously that is the blade cover. This is the blade. There are tiny little blades 
on the edges there, if you can see, very sharp. And then underneath the blade, there is something called a blade cone and a gasket to keep everything from leaking. And then of course, this is our base. So to go ahead and assemble this, we put the blade cover over the blade. So it just twists into place and then that goes, click that into position. And then this goes right in there. And then obviously you have to use your own bowl to catch the contents. It does not come with that. So we're gonna go ahead and use one of these bowls and get started. So we are going to be making three different types of frozen yogurt. The first one is just plain banana yonanas. Um, it says that they recommend you use overripe bananas before freezing them. However, I didn't have any, so I bought fresh bananas. I tried to pick the ones that weren't totally green. They were more on the yellow side. So I don't know how well this is going to turn out because it's not the recommended type of fruit. Just that full disclaimer for you guys. And then these bananas haven't been freezing for that long. They've really only been, they're not fully frozen, which might actually be better because it also says to thaw them out a little bit. But that's our banana. We're gonna dump that in, turn it on. So that is what we're working with. It's very gooey. I, like I said, I think if the bananas were more overripe, this would be a little bit more successful. Well, let's go ahead and try it. Tastes like a frozen banana. I don't know what else did we expect. No, honestly, it's pretty good. Um, I can see how this can be a nice alternative to having some ice cream at night. This is a more healthy snack. Basically, I think the point is to wait until your bananas are almost going bad and then peel those bananas, pop them in a little Ziploc bag and freeze them so that you can use them for your yonanas and then make some fresh frozen yogurt from that because obviously it didn't take too long. So now we're gonna go ahead and try making some Yonanas with bananas and peaches, and then another one with bananas and watermelon. So these are the peaches I'm going to be using. These were already frozen and sliced. I bought them at the grocery store at Stop and Shop. And then they didn't have any like pre-frozen watermelon, so I just got a container of watermelon and put it in the freezer myself. It says to do one banana first, three fourths cup of peaches, and then your second banana. So let's go ahead. Yonanas. Looks pretty good. It's very creamy. Mmm. That's nice and delicious. I could definitely see myself making this um, on a night where I'm craving some ice cream, or I can see myself making this for like a spring gathering with my friends. So it has that nice, thick consistency of ice cream, but obviously without any dairy, without any added sugar, it's a nice healthy alternative. And finally, I will be making some watermelon yonanas. So same deal, we do the banana first, then we do the watermelon, then we do the second banana. is 
our watermelon yonanas. I will say, I think the peach, and maybe just because the color is throwing me off with this one, the peach seemed to mix a little bit better, but I guess once you mix it all together, it's not as bad. Let's try this one. Mm. That one's really good. I love watermelon. Nice and refreshing. Not too sweet. You don't really taste the banana so much in this one because the watermelon flavor cuts it a little bit. All right, so now it's time to clean our Yo Nana's device. We're gonna shift this thing into the unlock position. It slides right out. What's nice is because of the blockage, there isn't anything that's gonna be pouring out, so it's not a messy cleanup. Untwist that. And that's where, oh, it's not as much as I thought it would be. I thought there would be a lot more. So that's gonna get washed. I'm gonna pull this out, there it is. That's where it all is. And then that's gonna get washed. Because it was frozen, the hot water is kind of melting it off, which is nice and made the cleanup really simple all right so that is all i have for you guys today i'd say overall i'm very impressed with both products both did exactly what they claimed they would do and the cleanup was extremely easy i like how both of the products are quite small and compact i live in a studio and i don't have that much storage space so counter space is really important and utilizing that space to the best of your ability. So both of these things are very small and compact and can easily be stowed away in a cabinet. I'd say both of these products are fairly practical and I can definitely see myself using them in the future. I've been really into drinking hot lemon water in the mornings, but now that the weather is kind of warming up, it might be nice to change it up and have a fresh pressed juice. And then instead of going to an ice cream or something not as healthy for me in the evenings when I do have a sweet tooth, it might be nice to make a quick little Yonana's frozen yogurt. So all in all, I'd have to give both of these products five out of five stars. I am really impressed and I'm looking forward to using them again in the future. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel for more As Seen On TV products and reviews. You can follow me personally at that girl Claude's in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon for another review. Bye.